Welcome to Behind the Badge. I'm your host, Chief David Malloy, Director of Public Safety for the City of Novi, and I'm very honored to have a special guest, Detective Jerry Stempion from our investigative section. Jerry, welcome to Behind the Badge. Thank you, Chief. Jerry, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about your background, your education, and some of the assignments you've held, but also your current assignment. Well, Chief, I joined the Novi Police Department in January of 2003. Uh, before that, I did uh, a two-year uh, employment with the Detroit Police Department after graduating from Central Michigan University. Um, since coming here to Novi Police, I've uh, been in Detective Bureau for five years. And for the last two, just shy of two and a half years, I've been assigned to the Southeast Michigan Financial Crimes Task Force, in which I, am, uh, I investigate financial crimes of all sorts, and I'm also a certified uh, computer and cell phone forensic investigator. Excellent. And tell us a little bit about the Southeast Michigan Financial Crimes Task Force, kind of the makeup of that, uh, the, the various, not only police departments that participate, but also our federal, federal partners as well. Right. Well, the task force is uh, led by the U.S. Secret Service. Uh, it's a multi-agency task force, including um, IRS, uh, Postal Inspector's Office, uh, Department of Homeland Security uh, investigations, the Novi Police Department, uh, West Bloomfield Police Department, Troy Police Department, uh, Southfield PD, and Royal Oak PD as well. Excellent. And all those resources are bringing to bear to investigate financial crimes here in Southeast Michigan and, and sometimes beyond. Yeah, that's right, Chief. A ton of resources at our disposal. Uh, we work together as a team, and we, 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 go, after, we go after those who are um, organizing that, that financial nexus, where whether it be identity theft or credit card fraud or check fraud or mortgage fraud, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to suppress uh, those activities that are leading to uh, a, a high-end dollar amounts. One of, our, one of our obviously largest growing crimes is the identity theft. And, and, and what are some tips that you can tell the viewers, and, and particularly, I believe, some of our uh, older adults, some of our mature adults who are sometimes victims of these scams? All right. Well, the best tip I can tell people, if, if they can't afford to pay for a credit monitoring system, here in Michigan, our legislators had made it available for us to get a free credit report from each credit agency, each bureau, whether it be uh, Equifax, TransUnion, or Experian. You can get one free report from them once a year. So if you space it out right, you can check your credit report every four months, free of charge, to mm -hmm. check for suspicious activity. Um, you can apply for the credit monitoring system. File your taxes early, as early as possible. The quicker you can get your taxes done, the less of a chance you're going to be a victim of somebody filing your taxes in your name. And, and personally, uh, for, for debit card use, I encourage people to use their debit cards at their home bank's ATM machines rather than using their debit cards out in the, uh, out in the retail market where those retailers are, are constantly under attacks for, uh, for the, the credit card numbers. You hear about it with Target and Home Depot. Uh, if you're using your debit card, uh, that money is coming out of your checking account, and it might take a little bit of time for you to get that money back, whereas if you're using a credit card, um, that's not money that you're losing right out of your checking account, and it's much easier to work with the banks and get that resolved rather than trying to get your money back that was removed from your checking account. Excellent. I know sometimes some of you guys, you guys work on some of the scams, some of the foreign scams, uh, whether someone's being bilked out of, of dollars or they, they pay, pay for something up front. Mm -hmm. what, what can we tell the viewing audience in terms of if it seems, seems too good to be true, it probably is. That's, that's the golden rule, Chief. If it's too good to be true, it really, it, it's just, it's, it's not. Um, for example, the foreign lotteries. It's a violation of federal law to play a foreign lottery. It's illegal. You can't do it. So there's no reason why a foreign institution is going to contact you and tell you that you won the lottery. Um, if the IRS contacts you, they're not going to do it by an email. Um, the IRS is going to come to you if you have if you're having a problem with your taxes. Uh, if you have, um, let's say, if you have a timeshare in Cancun, and you get receive a letter that says that you're owed money from a settlement from that timeshare, uh, but it requires you to send money first, that should be a red light right there. That is something you need to investigate thoroughly before you send any kind of money to anybody. Excellent, excellent. And I know your, your team has worked on some pretty large cases. I, you had a, a major case involving one of, one of Michigan's largest health care providers. Can you, whatever you can share, uh, I know it's still going through the court process, but I think it's really important, particularly in the health care industry, for us to be careful with our data. Yeah, what's, what's, what's really important to understand is every, every, every company has their security measures in place, but unfortunately it only takes that one employee, just one employee, 
that is trying to make a quick buck from the bad guy and stealing people's identities. And the security measures are in place, but unfortunately, if, if, if that office, whether it be in a healthcare industry or whether it be at a bank, all it takes is that one, that one employee who's, who's willing to overstep that line, steal people's identities in order to make more money on the side. And unfortunately, it can get out of control pretty quickly. Yeah, what's, what's been one of the largest cases you've worked on thus far? Um, th that would probably be the most, the one you mentioned mm -hmm. with the, uh, the Blue Cross Blue Shield, where uh, we did execute a search warrant in a person's residence in which we recovered thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of people's identities that, uh, that were in, on one person's computer. Right. So don't fall for the scams. Don't send money to get money. And, and certainly be cautious of where, where you're using your debit card, monitoring that, uh, your account, um, but also checking in. And, and uh, Experience, TransUnion, and Equifax all can give you a free credit report, every Michigan resident one time. That's right, it's free to charge. So it's a great opportunity to, to use something out there that's, that's available to you for free, and it's, it's easy to do too. And I know you've been busy doing some public education with some of our older adults, our senior center here in Novi. Uh, tell us how that's been going. Great, uh, I, I provide um, presentations to any community group or any business group, uh, anybody who wants to uh, listen to me talk about what we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis with the task force some of the common trends that we come across in our investigations, and a few tips to, uh, you know, to better safeguard yourself against being a victim of uh, identity theft or fraud. Excellent. Well, Detective, thank you for your time. Thank you for your service. I appreciate uh, everything you do. You, you got that can-do attitude, and uh, it's very refreshing to have uh, someone with your investigative persistence. And if I ever had an identity theft case, I'd, I'd want you on that, <laughs> on, on that case. So Thank you, Chief. Thanks for joining us today. And to you, the viewing audience, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Behind the Badge. And until next time, continue to watch Novi Television.